Hey you guys and welcome to Book Haul Monday where there's Book Haul every Monday while supplies last. So it's kind of been a while since I put up a book haul video. Probably not that long but yeah. Um, this video is going to take all the books that I got from April until July this month and what's I only bought two books so yay um, and these are be the books that I had like just on the side and yes I did put up book videos between them but when I, it was like all unboxings mainly from when I got like a book outlet order and then I hurried up unboxed it and then put it up almost like right away apparently I forgot about one though because I was looking at some books and I remember filming it but I didn't remember putting it up and I checked and I didn't and I'll check again before I put it up just in case but if not then you guys will see another book haul video not like not too soon after this one and then that should be it for book videos for a while hopefully I didn't just curse myself and see something like really excellent that I couldn't deny myself on book outlet because I have a problem so let's go ahead and get started for the first three books and they came from Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading for my birthday thank you so much again Dee Dee um, I'll link her channel down below as well as any other booktuber I mentioned and as well as all the links to all the books that I mentioned so the first book that she gave me is technically four books and that is the Ursi Quartet by Ursula Le Guin and it looks like this and I am so excited because I really enjoyed the miniseries that was on Scythe by like a long long time ago and which I was supposed to read the book before then but I didn't even manage to buy the book before then as you know anyway um so I'm really looking forward to it right now I'm just debating with myself if I want to rewatch the miniseries because I own it but I haven't actually watched it in a really really long time or if I want to read it and then watch it although I know as soon as I read this book and then I watch it I'll be like now that's not right did you even read the book did you just take the title and then looked at the synopsis and then made up what you wanted to make it up because that's basically what some people do I swear they do and so yeah I'm just debating with myself <laughs> you guys let me know if you guys have read it or seen the show and yeah the next two books she got me are poetry books and I'm so excited because I've been in a poetry mood and the first one is how to be drawn by Terrence Hayes and I'm really really enjoying it I was marking some of my favorites and so yeah really looking forward to this one I mean finishing that one and then moving on to this one love is a dog from hell by Charles Bukowski I've heard intriguing things I saw one or two reviews so I'll, whenever I finish that then I'll start on this one and then that way I can always have a poetry go book going and then the next book that I got was from Alan from AJ Reads she didn't like the book <laughs> and so I was just like then I'll just take it with me and she's like fine because it was stupid and I got Ruby by Cynthia Bond and I did start I read a few pages when I was in the car but um, I didn't get further than that and I was reading other stuff of course and I was liking it just fine and she was like no 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 you gotta get further so we'll see how that ends up and it follows this guy Ephraim Jennings and he sees like his old time um, childhood friend moves back to their small town it takes place in like the 1950s and they go from the present to the past back and forth to see like what kind of like her childhood was kind of horrible I guess and she has to confront some evil so that's gonna be interesting and then I want a book from Goodreads and it is called Pretty Waste by Melissa Simpson and it looks like this um, and she gave me this card she signed it and then she gave me this nice card um, congratulating me on winning the giveaway and hoping that I'll like it and it looks like this that looks really nice so I'm just gonna read like a paragraph of the synopsis welcome to the new year on Manhattan's Upper East Side where talk might be cheap though nothing else is scheming and manipulation are second nature intentions are never appear as driven snow and not even the shrinks can be trusted none of the names have been changed because no one is innocent you guys I love this synopsis so much and I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of drama field stuff is gonna go on in this book I'm just ready I'm just ready for it hopefully I can get to it soon and then of course I made a book out order <laughs> because I have a problem but it wasn't my fault you see because there are these two books that I just really really wanted and I don't think I even bought it during a sale because the last two or three sales um, they didn't have books that I wanted but they had the books that I wanted like as soon as the sale was over of course because that's what you do to me um, <clears throat> so the first one is dream a little dream um, by Kirsten Greer is the first in the silver trilogy and it's about this girl and she keeps having these 
dreams about these two guys and they turn out to be real at her new school so that's going to be interesting i still haven't read her ruby red trilogy but it's on it's on my list it's, it's near the top of the list to get to as well as this one now and then i got five to one by holly bodger his future is in her hands um this one is and told in poetry form I think one or two has a couple of paragraphs and it takes place in the year 2054 in India where India has a ratio of five boys for every girl and the women have formed like this instituted so they can test every guy who wants to be a husband to somebody when used to they used to auction off the girls so there's this one girl though that I don't think she wants to get married at all so we're gonna see how that works out and it got really sunny in here <laughs> um, Wow so then the next book that I got is Bits and Pieces by Jonathan Mayberry and this is the fifth book in the Rotten Ruin um, series and the other ones kind of look like this if you guys can see it and I have read Rot Ruin and I really liked it so I'm really looking forward to the to get into the other ones and this one is just like a bunch of short stories so I'm really looking forward to when I can get to this but it probably won't be this year I'm not gonna lie and then the main reason that I made this book outlet order was Ungodly by Kendar Blake so you guys come on you guys know me I was like I'm not gonna get this book um, on Amazon until I read the other ones but if I saw it on book outlet then I would just get in and get it and that's what I did I loved anti-goddess which is the first book in the series and so I'm really looking forward to rereading that and then reading the next two yeah so yeah I really love Kendar Blake and Dress in Blood one of my favorite series so the last book that I got was the last days of magic by Mark Tompkins and they also gave me a five dollar off coupon which I haven't had in forever you guys I didn't think they even gave them out anymore but I got one I'm so excited and this one just takes place in the last days of magic and there are like a bunch of stories I think well not like stories but follow a few people and there's like mythology and then like fantasy like and then fairies I think are part of this I'm really looking forward to this one so moving on the next the two books that I have to show you are two books that I got this month from the library so it only cost me 25 cents a piece the first one is as as I lay dying by William Faulkner it's one I've been seeing around a lot and like it's always been on my I'll get it one day list and it was like 25 cents and I like the cover so I was like I'll get it now even though I'm probably not gonna read it right away then I got <laughs> The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. It's funny because I believe when this first came out, it was this one. Um, it was like $100 on Amazon. Not this edition, but like it was a nice, really special edition, like intricate and everything. And I was like, oh my God, maybe I should get it. And I debated so long with myself that I kind of forgot about it a little bit. And then it kind of went out of stock. And then it was like $200 and then it went crazy prices. And I was never going to get it. And I sometimes think about that. Like now. Really shamefully probably should have got it but hey I have the same story and it's 25 cents and I think I actually have another edition of it <laughs> as well so but yeah that's nice and then I got some books from the Dollar Tree store the first one is kind of shameful I got how to leave lead a life of crime by Kirsten Miller and I actually already own this book it's behind there somewhere um, but on mine like the covering like it's like really loose like this one is solid but like on the other one I could like do this back and forth with the book and I was like that's kind of irritating and for a dollar I could change that okay and I believe it has like another cover inside this cover so that's one cover this is the sequel cover um but so yeah this is about uh crim these kids who go to the the school that to learn how to be a criminal so I'm really looking forward to this um Jay from In Reluctant says it's like really great so I'm really looking forward to it and then the next book that I got is Skinner by Charles Houston. It's another kind of just like military type, CIA type story um, thriller. It's about this guy, and I believe his name is Skinner. And he is like really known as brutal, brutal and he's controlled by the CIA. But he, he does something that even scares them at one point. So they just retire him, which strangely doesn't mean like kill them. Like usually... And these type of things where you know where they try to kill them and then they fail i watch a lot of really b plus action movies okay um so in this one he retires and then something happens and then they need him back 
of course they do so that's going to be interesting and then i got bell of dark by patrick downs it's about these two guys that each have their own like separate problems and then they kind of meet and are like on a collision course of type so i'm looking forward to this one as well i believe i got it from thrift books as well as garth nicks the keys to the kingdom grim tuesday okay i said that in all the wrong order it's grim tuesday the second book in the keys to the kingdom series by garth nicks and this completes my series of owning all of them in hardcover i only had two to do but like when i got the second one on thrift books the first time it was a library edition and i was like no and then so got the second one and i own all the other all the other ones i bought like right away in hardcover just the first two i didn't when i was a kid though it wasn't really like the thing as much but now i just kind of like my series to match so yeah there we go <clears throat> and then i got Alcatraz versus the Evil Light Brains by Brandon Sanderson. I heard some good things about the series, so I decided to pick it up. It looks really nice. And plus, it takes place, it's about this guy, boy, and he is trying to stop this cult of evil librarians who are spreading misinformation and suppressing the truth. So this sounds like it's going to be like a fun read. I'm really looking forward to that. And then I got the completed poems of Maya Angelou. So I'm really looking forward to this as well. And I'll probably start it sometime after I'm done with uh, Love is a Dog from Hell. So there we go. And I think there's like one more that I want to get the complete poems of Emily Dickinson this year. And then that probably be all the books that I read poetry books that I read this year if I even finish these ones so yeah and then last but not least I finally got Raven Girls by Audrey Neffeniger and it looks like this and it's so awesome and she's the one who did the time traveler's wife and she also does like um graphic type graphic novels type well I think they're more story books than anything and it's about this story of this postman who meets a raven and then he has a daughter i guess and she is half raven half human and that is what the story is about so i'm really looking forward to this one and then yes i have more books because i have a problem i have some pre-orders for you to show you guys and the first one is age i almost dropped the age of myth by Michael J. Sullivan and is the first book one of the legends of the first empire and I believe it still takes place in the same world as his Death a sword series so Re reviewing chronicles that series um and but this one takes place like as soon as like how the earth I think was made maybe I believe so like like the first people like were all the legends so it's not really a spoiler so to speak because even he was just like yeah just what you know from the other books might not necessarily be true in here because this is like the true story so i can start this one but I, I think i might read it in publication order which is probably what i'll do because that's what i like doing <laughs> so then the next book that i got is demon gods demigods and magicians by rick Riordan, and this is the percy and annabeth meet the canes and i still haven't finished like blood of olympus so i want to read that first before reading this but i also want to finish the canes books because i only read the first one so i need to read the other two as well so then i'll get to this one but of course i had to get it and then i got the trials of apollo book one of the hidden oracle by rick word and this one is like apollo who like gets cast out I guess of Olympus and his powers are stripped and he's turned into a human and he needs help getting to Camp Half-Blood so I'm really looking forward to this one as well and then last but not least I got The Will of Oshima by Mark Lawrence hopefully I pronounced that right this is the, the third book in the Red Queen series and I'm so excited you can't already tell I love the first book um, The Prince of Fools and I have the second one The Liar's Key so I'm, I'm really hoping to get to this one sometime soon um hopefully by next month i'll finish this series so i was like read them right away but then i was just like no you can take your time because there's i don't know if there's ever going to be any more books in the series so i'm really looking forward to it and those are all the books that i have to show you physically i did get all the bond books on my kindle over here maybe i'll try and do a kindle haul sometime soon 
but I don't know because I didn't really buy a lot of books on my Kindle and a lot of the ones I bought I just bought because I wanted a Kindle copy and I already had physical copies so yeah besides the bomb books I can't really think of anything major I bought on my Kindle like I bought all of them because they're on sale for like $1.99 but then I found them even cheaper because they had them all in one set and so I saved a couple of more dollars so that's really exciting me and Dee Dee are hopefully going to read those together sometime soon so yeah that's it you guys let me know down below if you guys have read any of the books that I mentioned. Um, were they good? Were they bad? Which ones do you think I should get to first? What kind of books have you bought lately? Let me know down below and I will see you guys later. Bye.